Ah uh, yes, the display case in its natural environment. <laughs> Bits. <laughs> Welcome back, Hobby Maniacs. I'm Rob Bear from SpikyBits.com, and we are talking display cases again. I know, I know, we already did one of these, but this one's different because IKEA has like a million display cases, ranging from like sixty dollars on up to like I don't know, two hundred, whatever. But I feel like when you walk in the Ikea, it's very daunting because there's so much stuff and it's like two hours to get through and you're like, ah, I don't know what to get. But so that's kind of what, what happened to me recently because I was looking for some new fixtures here in the studio to kind of hold more stuff just generally and to hold Titans and hold big kits and just kind of protect them from the uh, the wily kitty cats that, that run around here. So uh, I came up with two leading candidates. I already showed you one, the uh, uh, Fabricore, the single Fabricore case, which seems to do quite well. It pretty much can hold anything uh, that I think that GW has made up to this point. But then I wanted a case to replace the two Deltoff cases that, um, you know, they're great. They're 60, 70 bucks, depending on where you're at. Great cases. But I, I've, I just wanted to do a little bit better, free up some space and uh, just make them a little bit brighter, you know, for the background and stuff. So I found the Millsbo case. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's all Swedish. I'm the worst. I should know this stuff. But this case, I feel like is pretty good and it's got adjustable uh, shelving and it can hold a lot of miniatures, not necessarily like big model kits, but if you got like a lot of armies that you just wanna put up and like transports and you know, smaller type vehicles, I feel like this might be the one for you. So I scooped this up, I wired it up with LEDs. I think I had to use two kits on this one, uh, which would run you about 40 extra dollars, but there isn't a dedicated lighting kit for this case from Ikea. So I'm gonna show you how I did that and we'll put some links to that as well in, in the uh, uh, the comments and also the description. So let's, let's jump right into it. You can already see I've got it finished behind me, but you're not supposed to see that. Some of you already saw that, but let's jump in and pretend that's not there and we're gonna figure it all out right now. Boom, movie magic. <laughs> So this is the Ikea.com website. They recently, they started delivering. So for at least here in the States, $129, I got three of these cases delivered, which was super nice. Um, I feel like that's just pretty reasonable. So, and it didn't go up based on all that stuff. So I can't say enough good things. Uh, you do have to have an adult present over 18, but a lot of folks are working from home, so no big deal. So this is their site. You can just uh, get here looking at display case. And you see, here's the Deltoff. You've probably seen these a million times over. The double-sided fabric core, I actually have one of these as well that I'm gonna try to fit all my Titans in. So if you see that just randomly appear behind me, I'm probably not gonna do a video on it, but you know, hey, I picked it up because I think uh, I think that will fit everything in it. And here's the Millsbo here, and then here's the single fabric core that we already showed you. That one was super easy to wire. You just had to drill in the top, one single LED kit, you're good to go. Um, you know, 20 bucks out the door on that kit right there. But let's talk about this Millsbo for a sec. I hope I'm saying that right. I'm terrible if, if it's not. It, it's really tall. It's about six. Yeah, it's about six feet tall. It's it's pretty it's pretty tall. Um, it's got four adjustable shelves plus, or, well, four total counting the bottom, and you can kind of do whatever with it. And the cool thing is that it's it's sturdy for the most part, but let's take a look at the uh, official product details on it. So, no, we want to do size. Product size, here we go. So here's the official, you can't see it because my stupid face. So it's 28 by 34 wide, 16 and a half deep, and its height is 68. Uh, inch, it's almost 69 inches total. So almost six feet, it's not quite six feet. So that pretty much means you can load it up with a lot of things. It's got self-leveling feet, which is really nice. So if you're on uneven ground, like my corner happens to be a little uneven, you can level it out, which is nice. You don't want your models going everywhere. But more importantly, the doors um, on the sides you have to be level because otherwise one door will be slightly higher than the other because of the way that it is constructed. So grab a buddy, scoop up the Millsbo, and get it assembled and we'll jump right into it. And now this is the Millsbo case. And this is, of course, from Ikea. It is about six inches taller than those Deltoffs. Here's what it basically looks like here. Uh, it's a little bit better design. And when you figure that those uh, Deltoffs or Deltoffs, whatever, however you pronounce them, are about $60, $70 each, 
This one here is, you know, I think it was close to 200. So, I mean, you put a little bit of money with it and you get something that's a little bit better quality in my opinion and can hold more stuff and, and, and stuff in bigger sizes too. I mean, you can really see in here and it, it goes together pretty well for the most part. It's a, it's a two person assembly job. There's the LED kit that, that, I've, that I've assembled here um, to get in here. So it's got these really nice little switches, right? That you can use to lock. Uh, this side here, really powerful magnet, so it's going to hold itself closed pretty well. And as long as you, uh, when you assemble it, get it all level, that you won't have a problem here. It's slightly not level, but the feet level themselves. So wherever you put it, just kind of level it out and um, self-adjusting feet, and you're good to go. Now, this is the LED kit, and I'm going to show you. It's the same one we used on um, this bad boy right over here that we talked about before. This LED kit is great because you kind of have to do a little different on this setup here. So let's talk about that. So here's what we're going to replace. Now these are the Deltoffs, I think they're called, from Ikea. They're they're great cases for 60, 70 bucks, like I said, great cases. Like uh, I think pretty much everybody's seen these. Everybody probably has one or knows somebody that has one at this point because they've been a bestseller for Ikea for a number of years, right? But the thing I don't like about these is, well, one, the doors are a little flimsy. Um, it's full five feet of glass on each side, not really supported that well. It's just kind of like held in with this press board sort of type deal. And the LED kit that they sell off and on, um, it's kind of buster because you have to have all these wires up here uh, together. There's no remote. You just plug it in and it, it, it just doesn't work very well. The other drawback for me at least is, you know, it's hard to put stuff in here. I mean, you, you can put stuff in here and sometimes people sell the, the extra uh, shelving units. I think there's been several Kickstarters or people have patterns for the, the glass that you can get cut and how to attach them in here. And that's great. That, that's, that's awesome. But at the end of the day, there's only so much weight you can put on these and only so many things size-wise you can put in these, right? You can't put like any of your big stuff if you have big stuff. But sometimes vehicles and stuff and I got some acrylic risers which you can grab off Amazon to kind of help prop things up and Mr. Mr. Snails is in the process of getting a new base forgive his uh, paper towel busterness but I kind of let this case go because I, I knew I was replacing it so these two basically take up the space to hold one of those new cases so the lights are just as bright this is actually a 50% power believe it or not actually I think that's the nighttime setting this is 50% and this is 100%. And it looks really bright in this in this particular video here, but it doesn't look any brighter than anything you would see at a store or anything like that in real life. So don't worry about that. It's not, it's not going to burn you out or anything. But at night, you know, if you do have sight to this room, you're probably going to want to set it on uh, to the night mode right there. Now, unlike, you might notice, uh, the other case, which we did over here, this one, this particular one, doesn't have LEDs across the bottom like we did right there. And we were able to do that because the LEDs, the, the case, that lip right there kind of blocked the LEDs. Down here, there's no blocking. It's just, it's just straight open. So I had to kind of improvise. Unfortunately, we had to use uh, two different sets of these LEDs. So it was a little bit more expensive. I think it ended up being about 40 bucks or so uh, to get two of these kits because they come with pre-drilled pre holes right there in the top. So we didn't have to drill one out like we did on the other one. But what we did do is just kind of crisscross it again all the way over to here. And then we came down uh, the sides and we just kept we just kept it going. And we just kept it going all the way down to the bottom. But the problem was that these LED strips are 20 inches each. So at some point you had to figure out where we would cut it. And you can cut it right here at this little section where it actually has a little icon, a little line. And you could cut it right there and it won't kill the whole strip, which, you know, is what we did. Uh, I think we got it all the way to the bottom and we just cut it. So we had some leftover um, LED strips, which was, which was fine. Uh, no big deal there. But that's basically how we did it. Just two lines crisscrossed straight down. You could, in theory, maybe put one across the back and come back up that side. But then you're going to start seeing the LEDs in your face instead of just a reflection in the glass, which is kind of, I think, what we're used to going to stores, so I didn't opt for that route. Now, this case is going to hold a lot more miniatures, so let's see. <laughs> um, oh, let me show you something else, too. You can actually, because this kit is actually two of these, you can pair the remotes together. So this is, this is actually two kits worth that I'm able to operate, and I actually paired it to that one over there. So all three of my kits are paired together off of one remote, which is pretty nice. So you know how they say, uh, no plan survives contact with the enemy? Well, 
Uh, that's sort of what happened with this particular project here. So you can see I got the case all loaded up and there's plenty of space. I got a whole shelf on the bottom and lots of space here for my uh, big monsters in the middle. So maybe I'll throw some Nurgle Duders in there. I don't know yet. But, uh, but we got everything cased up, which is great. And then up top here, you can see that the wiring doesn't really take up that much space, uh, which is great. I ran a little cable up, up the side and just kind of taped it to it so you can't even see it. But And then up there... Um, I stuck down all the stuff across the top, which was super easy. So everything worked great, uh, but there was a little bit of a problem. And you'll probably see it when I open the door here. So the problem that I noticed is when the, the case is this wide, you lose a lot of light in the center if you run around the sides. So what I actually did was I took at the bottom where I had that little piece that I had cut um, right there and I just pulled that off the quick release and I added a jumper cable which you can see uh, right there and then it went around the corner right there and I added another jumper with a quick release so I can if I need to take the door off I can just quick release it and then went all the way across with no LEDs across the magnet and then ran LEDs all the way up uh, to the top right there and what that did was it you can kind of see, like, if you look across the brass scorpion right there, as as the light, it gets shadowy, and then it opens back up, and there it is, passing across the brass brass scorpion, and boom. So it really adds a lot to the middle section right there, and it was great because I had extra LED, so it all just kind of worked out. Uh, the dimensions were perfect for it to go across the bottom, and then all the way up to the top, and I just kind of, uh, I think I had to mush it right there, so it just turned just a little bit, and all the it all fits in there just fine and everything works great so uh, two kits and the case are good to go here's a quick look at some of the miniatures in here that you might not have uh, seen uh, before but they all, they all look great got them on little acrylic risers there's Magnus with it waiting on his base and we've got uh, some other duders there some Primarchs and such Mr. Snail's waiting on his base and there they are. So that was it. Uh, great little project. I can't wait to uh, to fill this case up. And uh, you know, like I said, it's got all the different uh, settings on here, so you don't have to worry about that. Was 50%. Uh, that's 100%, <laughs> which is pretty bright, but it looks way brighter in the camera. And there's uh, uh, 20 and nighttime right there. So that is it for this one. Thanks for checking it out. I know this was our second LED video, but I think uh, I think it was a good one for sure. And, uh, you know, this will give you an idea. This is more for putting miniatures, um, like whole groups of army miniatures, maybe some bigger stuff. But if you're looking to kind of put uh, vehicles and larger things, then the other case is probably better from that. So thanks for watching. Uh, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you can be the very first to like and comment on all our videos.